Hello and welcome back to Orwell Chapter 4, The Memory Hole. Yeah, back again, hmm? Still can't believe what happened yesterday. Yeah, you and me, I, neither. The revelation of what we ended up doing does weigh heavily on the minds. This game's choices, they do matter, and as I said before in previous episodes, I love the dynamic storytelling and the branchy past that this game has. It's a wonderfully written visual novels slash point-and-click detective game, a hybrid. It's absolutely fantastic. As it has been several years since I have played, I'm not sure what all the branching paths are anymore, so wherever we're g going at the moment, I'm just as much in the dark as you are. I have a rough idea of the overall story, but I can't quite remember what all the branching paths and options might be, and which ending we are going for, I don't know, so we'll find out when we get to it. We've got the perpetrator of the bombings, everything looks that way, but at what cost? I mean, did we do the right thing? Flagging Miss Matanova is dangerous? Did we kill her in the end? Ugh. I wish you could talk to me, at least this one time. Speaking into this one-way channel feels like barking at a wall endlessly. I mean, I can't talk to you in real time, but hey, at least you can give me comments in this section down below. Worst of all, as you found out, Abraham Goldfell seems to have incited and planned the assaults. We need to get him. Today. There must be some lead on him we have overlooked. We'll keep observing all the others in case we learn something new. So, the reader tool. Nina Matanova. On the website here, which is loading. The police database, which is being a bit slow. There we are. Charges of multiple homicides. Obviously, we know there's no arresting officer. We shot her. When prompted to surrender, the suspect instead shouted out aggressively while producing a firearm. Aiming at one of the special agents, suspect then opened fire. Suspect was hit in the chest twice, causing her to collapse. An ambulance was called, but the paramedics were unable to resuscitate the target. Oof. And there is a news headline which has come in. And that's the picture we uploaded of her. If we had uploaded a different picture of her, that article would have a different picture, I believe. Listen, I don't like the news reports either. We needed to cover the fact that this happened somewhere in public. We cannot frighten people. Sometimes true fanars have to divert for the common good. I mean, we've kind of been doing that the entire time. The truth has been diverted at several points because Orwell is missing the context for everything which I've put in so far. Hence why you thought that uh, Cassandra tortured Juliet, even though it was sarcasm, because it doesn't detect it. Outcoming call from Juliet to Harrison. Uh, yeah, O'Donnell speaking. Harrison, this is Juliet. Isn't this your office number? You're working on Sunday? Look, just as much as I appreciate that I am once again so important to you, I'm a bit in between things. Yeah, she's probably in between uh, the... He's probably in between the girls he's been sleeping around with. Harrison, Nina is dead. Quit bullshitting me, not funny. Take a look at the TNB if you don't believe me. What the... the, the, the I, she's been associated with the bombings. I can't believe it. Upload that she's working on a Sunday, that's important. Saturday, Sunday. She still works a lot, but then again, so do we. She's been associated with the bombings. I can't believe it. Nina, you stupid piece of... Why in all hell? There's more. I spoke to her yesterday. She called me. I've never heard her so scared. Said she was being tracked by someone and needed to skip town. She just wanted to let me know what was going on in case anything happened to her. Then she packed a few things and went on her way. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean tracked by someone? She suspected someone to be wiretapping her calls. She wasn't exactly willing to talk about it, I don't know, but I think it could have been the police. Oh, this is fucking brilliant. How long do they discover the connection to us, huh? They might be listening to this very call as we fucking speak about Nina. Oh, yes, about that. Why would they? We didn't do anything. Or did you? No, damn it, but it's becoming blatantly obvious these government assholes are trying to set us up. The bombs were exactly where we held our protests. Then these letters were the song Abe obsessed about. And now you tell me they've been in contact with Nina just yesterday? Pretty much the proof they've been waiting for. We're cooked. 
Yeah, you really believe that the government has it in for us. I thought you and the Gov were best friends forever now after reading your opinion pieces. What reason would they be after us? Why now and what did we do? Speak up against the one too many times? The fuck do I know? Hmm. We should seek help just in case. Who's gonna help us? Joseph Langley might be worth a shot. Who? Cassandra's lawyer, don't you remember? A freaking lawyer, what do you want him to do? Bust law enforcement? The government? He understands our situation. Abe also knew Joseph. Ah, that's very important. Abe also knew Joseph. I talked to him just recently. Ah, really, Jules? They make the laws and they break the laws. Ah, they know each other. Elvis well, could be a new lead. We'll consider Joseph Langley a target. It's another person in our database because we're so convinced we're doing the right thing. Are you having second thoughts, Symes? We have clearance to proceed. We are going to need to know some basics on who Joseph Langley is. Remember to check your old sources. Other than that, focus on hints to Abraham Goldfels. He's the centre to all of this. Ugh. They make the laws, they break the laws. We will need to speak in a language they understand, not in one they own. So I take it you've got a much better plan, huh? We need to get the people on our side. Turn things around. Abe knew that. Yeah, you're right. He did know that. So now you're set on miraculously achieving something that Fort spent one and a half years attempting? This is not about Fort, this is me defending myself. Oh, what's your defense plan? There's this guy. A guy. Aha. Uh -huh. He goes by the name Initiate. Might actually be a girl. Who cares? Look, this hack on the Fort blog was a very elaborate hack. Our site is super safe. I'm not an amateur. That girl, guy, whatever, maybe they're non-binary, is skilled, and Initiate mentioned having no sympathy for the government. You're gonna trust a random ta hacker who targeted Fort simply because he said he doesn't like the government. Why would he first threaten us and then work with us? Leave it to me, Jules. I'll persuade Initiate with ease. Imagine the possibilities of our own hacker. Okay, you know what? Have it your way, I'll have it mine. Uh, you like the good old days. Is your Util alias still that one? Well, we have that now. Yeah, it is. Let's get going. Well, there goes my child Sunday morning. My mind is still spinning around what happened to Nina. Watch yourself, okay? What? Are you worried about me? Jules, I didn't know you still get... Ugh, no. Bye, Harry. <laughs> right. Uh, where is Initiate on our chart of things? He's... There he is. Because he doesn't have a picture. Well, we'll add that in, I suppose. That's important to know. Uh, is there anything else in this conversation which we missed? Harrison thinks he's being set up. Seems to be a natural reaction. They must be setting us up because we didn't do anything for sure. I almost understand it. Almost. Okay, so that's that phone conversation dealt with. Ah, and he's emailed initiates. Hey, Wiseass, I have no idea who you are and why you suspect us of being involved. Were these usual circumstances, I wouldn't care less about a weirdo like you, but you just told me in your last email you would now tend to another. Well, have a look at the TNB. Is this the person you wanted to tend to? Soon enough, you will have some serious explaining to do, and it won't be to me, if you get what I mean. Lucky you, I'm not writing to continue this ridiculous battle, or whatever this is. Now we've all made ourselves comfortable in the same sinking ship, I want to suggest something better. You claim to be righteous? Then be righteous. Become a member of Ford. You said you're not on the Gov's side, so why not be on ours? Hmm, he's invited him to join. Interesting. I thought Mr. O'Donnell left Ford, and now he seems to be actively recruiting. It makes his exit seem unlikely. Uh, okay, so we've got that there. A reader article did pop up. Uh, oh, it was his timeline has got something new on it. Off on a slow start to this chill Sunday morning. This is going to be my day, blah, 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 blah. Anyone can recognise... <laughs> In case anybody does recognise the woman next to me, let me know. Just kidding, obviously, I know. <laughs> it's Marta. Ah. Yes, so we know what he was doing last night based on the emails we got in the previous episode. So let's take a look at the alumni page because I remember that... Joseph Langley was on there. There he is. You know, we have a picture of him at least in his uh, mortarboard. I still have mine somewhere. That was some time ago, wasn't it? Yes, it was. His own law office, so we'll probably get a file from that one. Yep, there we go. Graduation in 1992. 
Oh, it's a bit of information about him, at least. So, the law offices of Joseph Langley, I imagine. There we are. Uh, profile. There he is. It's a more reliable picture of him. He looks a lot older than I thought he was, just saying. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. He partnered with Catherine Delacroix. Aha! The Secretary of Security. Now there is a t quite interesting link. I didn't know she had a law career before she joined politics. He's definitely been around. It's interesting that she he's associated with her when he's dating Cassandra, who's involved in the Fort group. Just saying. So far so good on Mr Langley's background. Excluding the connection to Miss Delacroix, everything seems unsurprising. What we need to know right now are his connections to Goldfells and possibly to other members of Fort. A uh, year abroad in 1990. He's ex-service as well. Okay. That's interesting to know. I didn't remember that, actually. I doubt he has any combat experience, but hey, we, we may be able to pull up his officer page at least. Uh, significant cases that took on the defence for Hendricks during which he was able to convincingly argue Hendricks had acted on behalf of the Secretary of Transportation during a highway construction accident. I remember that perfectly well. No way anybody missed a case at the time. It was either courageous or dumb. It seemingly it turned out to be the former for some time, but now it might be the latter. Quite a famous case in the world coverage in 2010. Defender construction entrepreneur Elwood Hendricks, who had taken on a government contract for highway construction. When it became apparent his road pavement was of inferior quality than paid for, Hendricks's firm became subject to corruption investigations. Kind of reminds me somewhat of the stuff that was going on in L.A. Noir, doesn't it? Although that's slight spoilers for that game, so I'm not going to say any more than that in case we let's play it someday. Is there anything on the contact page, a phone number or something? Yes, there is. And an email address. Well, that seems helpful to have. O o office phone number, at least. But hey, having an email will help. Uh, and I guess we'll upload the address of the offices. Oh, this does make me feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> it really, really does. Uh, has that brought up... No, it hasn't brought up his army page. Fair enough. Well, the listener's popping off. Uh, we've got an email from Joseph. Um, hello, Joseph. I assume you know who I am. It's come to my attention that one of your clients, a certain Cassandra Watergate, is currently held in investigative custody. As far as I'm informed, if you have some kind of liaison, while this is not of my concern, it's heartbreaking to know that lovers are apart from each other. I'm in a position to change that if you deliver incriminating material for a person named Abraham Goldfels, a member of the f group Fort, of whom I know you have been in contact with. If you're willing to assist me in this, I will see to it Cassandra receives a helping hand from a friend. I don't know who sent that. I don't know who sent that email. I'm not sure if it's ever explained. Is this our hacker friend again? I mean, it could be. I don't know. Uh, Juliet's chatting with Joseph again. Am I talking to Joseph Langley? Whilst he's typing, I'm going to have a quick drink. Hello there, yes you are, and who would you be? Now Juliet, Cassandra's friend, we spoke a couple of days ago. <clears throat> yes, of course, Juliet, how can I help you? Honestly, I don't quite know where to start. By the way, I heard from Cassandra. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you yet. Really? That's good. Where is she? <laughs> yes, about that, it's not good. She got arrested. What? Why? Come on, type faster, you bastard. I was informed Cassandra has been taken into custody. Apparently they have new evidence regarding the attack, in inverted commas, of that officer. I tried to call immediately, but they claimed she didn't want to talk to me. That's their official statement. Where did they suddenly dig up new evidence from? Yeah, about that. Uh, <clears throat> I have no idea, but I've just, I've just had it with their shenanigans. It's just so annoying that I cannot talk to her. I've been trying every precedent I know to get in contact with her. Joseph, this sadly aligns perfectly with another incident. You've probably read the TNB today. You mean about the bombing perpetrator? Yes, the woman that died, Nina. She was a friend and also a member of our group, Fort. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I... I had no idea. It's okay, you couldn't possibly have known. You're right, this is very troubling. For you, yes. Come on. God, he types slow. Come to think of it, Abraham asked me for a favour of someone called Nina once, quite some time ago. I hope it wasn't this Nina. Uh, might well be. I doubt Abe knew many other people named Nina. What was the favour about? Oh, it was just a small thing, nothing of importance. A favour for Miss Matanova? This could be important. Follow this lead. I'm going to, I'm going to. I spoke to Harrison, another member of our group. We agreed a police might be investigating us next. They might be onto everyone in Fort now. They might lock us up straight away. I mean, can they do that? Well, even with the safety bill in place, they still need solid indication you're at all involved in the actual bombings. Although, honestly, I'm not sure what constitutes as solid indication these days. Is there anything that we can do that you can do, maybe? God, he does type slow. Juliet, I appreciate that you've come to me. It really is worrying, and I would take this on immediately were it not for Cassie. Yes, it might be a conflict of interest for you. I made a mistake to set false priorities once. I owe Cassandra to get her out of this first. Joseph, Nina is dead. She got shot. There's no telling if we're next. If I if I'd be in that situation, I'd be trying to get my girlfriend out of it. Oh, you have a girlfriend, Symes. Okay. I uh, I need time to read into some more specialized codes of law again. Write some emails. See if there is legal limbo or basically anything I can do for Cassandra. Maybe I'll come across something that might help you as well. After all, these cases seem connected. It's all I can offer, and I hope you understand. I do. It's a kind of relief. Thank you. Wish I could do more. I'll let you know. Okay. Bye. Urgent requests. I'll come back to that in a minute because Initiate has replied to Harrison. Troubling, very troubling. I'm sorry for what happened, but answer me this. How can I join Fort when I'm already a part of it? What? A secret member? Well, we need to add that in. Bing, bing, bing. I haven't got an email address, a web address even. He's a member already? Why don't we find any hints at his history with the group then? Uh. Well, here's his web page. Uh, right, okay. He calls himself a hacker. I mean, fair enough. Um, giraffes with hats. National Bread Eating Olympics. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'd be a champion at that, honestly. I really would. Uh, well, let's have a picture of him at least so we've got something, even though it is a, a dog. That's not the dog we're looking for. Jesus, start taking things seriously, will you? Hey, I just wanted something other than a blank portrait, okay? It was annoying me. Uh, da -da -da. The Data Wars. Is that when Law and his brother start fighting each other? Or B4, potentially? It was right, what's wrong about me in here and Val shall be rewarded. It's a trap! See what I did there? He flaunted that publicly on his webpage. Wow. I uh, made a little game for you called Horn vs Horn, and it'll be available for everyone to play soonish. Play around, drop your eye, and get invited to the beta. Are you not entertained? The memes. The memes are old, but I like it. It even kind of looks a little bit like Russell Crowe. You're cheating. Uh, yeah, yeah. Open letter to Victor Rosen. Victor, you are my idol. I admire your style. You've got an awesome tech company. You cook and wear shiny snake leather boots. They're probably being assembled by children in Uspa. <laughs> So many hipsters look up to you, wanting to be just like you, blah blah blah. Uh, something's bothering me though. As bright star of the tech world, you've got to improve your security. Look, if I used a login like VR Hosen and password da 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 da, it wouldn't be a big deal. No one would give a damn. But a luminous figure like yourself, just imagine what would happen when somebody who's nothing as benevolent as myself would find out those and post them openly, say on timelines or other social media platforms. I'm pretty sure doxing is illegal. All I demand in return is to have a chat with you personally, but something that's been bothering me for quite some time though, even though I've got a glimpse into the Rosen Ivory Tower already. Ah, so he has been to Rosen Tech. Interesting. Of course he would have gone there. Everyone I know who's remotely into tech or programming wants to work there. Which is quite mind-boggling to me. They actually hire a lot of interns and only very few people ever get permanent contracts. Uh Ah, okay, we've got his chat thing there. That's important to have. 
for what's that again? Uh, just his chat handle for the listener, I imagine. Right, well, that's all we've got. We call we can get from that page. Uh, let's go back to the listener page. Uh, email from Joseph. Uh, Laverne, please excuse me for mailing you on Sunday, but I have an urgent matter. Driving to the office now, and I need to use my private notebook. Can you please unlock the PC ID? Uh, we had a little bit of a look at this in the previous episode with Nina's uh, computer, which she then switched off whilst we were in the middle of looking at it. Oh, there was one thing I needed to mention. The head engineer warned me that apparently there was a glitch that caused devices we were monitoring to malfunction at times. You need to worry about that now. Uh, now, though, the issue has been fixed. Ah, so they won't know we're snooping on them anymore. Uh, urgent request, response, yeah, it's, don't worry about it. Oh, and he's just replied to the email about Abraham, that was quick. I've not been in contact with Abraham Goldfels for a long time, I cannot meet your demands. I will deliver additional information on members of the activist group, Fort, though. Only if you mind our agreement, Cassandra Watergate must be set free tomorrow, not a day late. He's going behind their backs. Ooh, sneaky tweaky. Joseph isn't to be trusted, it seems. I didn't expect him to give in so easily. Ah, so you sent that email, Symes. <laughs> I had a suspicion you did it. Didn't expect him to give in so easily. Let's wait and see where this goes next time he talks. Ah, okay, so Simon sent that email to him. Fair enough. Uh, what's popping off on this page over here? Um, is there... Because it, 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 it... Ah, contact page. Is there something else on here? What... Because uh, it's saying I need to... Click on some, uh, something to interact with on this page. Because... Have a bloody midge. Sorry, excuse me. Um, okay, now that's gone now. Right, let's take a look at his bloody computer then. This is his co uh, work computer at least, so let's go through the trash first. Nothing in that, fair enough. Uh, pictures. Active supporter of the Children of Parges Foundation. Uh, that's one of the neighbouring countries, it's fair enough. He's a charity donator. I've been sceptical about this foundation, but they have been officially approved as a beneficial operation. I guess it's a good cause after all. Uh, Wednesday 1993. He's married. Or he was married. Hmm. He does look a lot younger in that picture, so... Hmm. He does fishing. Ah. Abraham Goldfels is also a fisherman and was in the same club, I'm guessing, from the looks of it. I'm going to bob that in. There's a connection there. So that's how they knew each other. Possibly. Uh, and this one... Oh, no, we've looked at that. Okay, and that's just a picture of him with Cassandra. Okie dokie. Uh, the picture. Is there anything in the system? Ah, the browser history. Well, we'll come back to that in a minute. That could be a minefield. Emails. Office emails. Uh, oh, he's financially troubled. Oh dear. That's not good. Businesses are running so well, it seems. Too few crimes, I suppose. They must be doing something, right? Uh, he laid off an employee called Mrs. Winters. <laughs> I guess, sure. Ugly, but not of our concern. Well, why, if it's not of our concern, why did Orwell want me to put it in? Just saying. Uh, Mr. Yang, I would like to thank you for the business meeting. It's great to finally meet you in person. Your case truly deserves a dedicated and qualified, experienced lawyer. After some careful con conducted consideration, I have to inform you I do not have the capacity for a case of this complexity at this time. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. There's his bank account info. Well, we've got that now, at least. Um, yeah, so with it uh, glitching out before, it's not going to inform them that we're snooping through, so maybe it won't ping off uh, someone that's accessed your bank email like it did for Harrison a couple of days ago. Uh, rejected a case. Well, if, he, if he's financially troubled, why is he rejecting cases? There's a thought. Just saying. Um, regarding your request to release Cassandra Watergate from investigative custody, your request has been denied. 
Though it is undoubtedly not directly involved, we have multiple indications connecting her to the group, which is in turn associated with the alleged perpetrator. Uh, new evidence, uh, reopening of said criminal case. Mm, fair enough. That's all we've got on the office emails at least, so let's go take a look at uh, his private emails. My friend in dubio. Ah, Indubio is an alias of Joseph. I see. Hmm. Now we're friends. Maybe this friendship is worth investigating further then. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hope this mail finds you in good health. First of all, I'd like to apologise for not having been able to write to you as often as I should have. Uh, I don't hope you don't think I've avoided writing due to asking you about ongoing financial support for Nina. Okay, so we know he definitely did do that. <clears throat> might, excuse me. He might have supported the perpetrator. Ah. It's because Orwell is missing the context and the time this email was written. Look for hints if there really was ongoing financial support. Yeah. That's the thing about Orwell, it's missing the context. There is a young woman, her name is Cassandra, who is a member of my debate club. She has undeservedly stumbled into trouble very recently and requires nothing but the best defence attorney. Of course, you immediately sprung to mind after the wonderful job you did as counsel in my case. Oh, he was lawyer for Goldfels. He gets more and more connected by the minute. So this is how they knew each other, he was his client. Which raises a question, what was his case about? And he d was asked by Abraham to defend Cassandra. So the circle is complete. Joseph is very intimately involved with all of these people so far. More so than we realised. Okay, so that's all there. Yeah, over there. I know the listener thing is popping off, but it will wait until we go take a look at it. So let's take a look at his browser history. Oh, there's nothing here. And it was recently cleared. Never mind. Uh... Right, it wants us to interact with that on his desktop. We'll come back to that later because we don't know what it's conflicting with. Uh, initiates chatting with Harrison. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But first, uh, let's take a look at Joseph's bank details, I suppose. Recurring donation to an unknown account. Okay. We'll bob that in because that's a bit suspect. So there might be something to the connection between Joseph and Nina after all. If you can find one last indication this might be meant for Nina, it would be enough for investigative custody. Oh dear, we could get uh, Joseph arrested as well, much like Cassandra. Oops a daisy. Uh, the fishing club, the government versus Abra- The government versus Abraham Goldfels. What the fuck? Alright, let's take a look at this. Plaintiff, the government of the nation, uh, the defendant is accused of breaching the terms of employment contract with the plaintiff he had entered in March of 2013. Goldfels worked for the government. Interesting. Are you positive? This is a true surprise to me. I've never heard of his name here. Never. Somebody must know him if that's true. Why was he sued over a breach of contract? Uh, plaintiff's claim was granted for a medical condition a defendant could be proven by his physician. Uh, the court could see no justification for the absence from work. And so the defendant appears to be in a healthy condition at the time of verdict. Well, that's his medical files, which we should probably take a look at. We'll come back to that in a moment. Seems to explain a lot. He felt too sick for work and tried to get out, was charged for it instead, and found guilty. Considering the facts, the bombings are starting to look like a very weird vendetta to me. High time we find Abraham Goldfels. Indeed. Oh, another article is just unlocked. Right, and there's the fishing club too. Oh, it's all it's all popping off. <laughs> uh, ah. That's the regular donation, isn't it? Donates to the Children of Parges Foundation. Or potentially something else. Feedback on your requests. Oh. Uh, email from just two days ago in regards to the books on um, so if you'd be found like a broken record but major issues I see apart from your number of clients dropping steadily your expenses 
since the end of 2016, especially via that credit card of yours, went up by a whopping 218%. I'm guessing that's partly because of Cassandra. Any idea what the reason for that might be? Then there's this recurring donation, in inverted commas, which has been going on for some time. I can respect if you want to help out a friend or something, but you have to stop at some point. Huh. Surely if it was... Uh, ah! The children of... Part, I've just noticed it was set up by Cassandra's dad. Anyway, um... If it's saying he's a supporter, fair enough. Um, that doesn't mean he donates regularly. Well, it, do, it does say that he's got outstanding ongoing financial support, but we don't have a date for this. And that just says over the years. He might have stopped, and the email which was being discussed with this from just two days ago is talking about the donation to a friend. So I'm more inclined to believe that that is what's actually going on. And I'm aware that me doing this will alter our path significantly. So I'm actually going to hold off on that for now because we've got a few other things to look through. Uh, we've got the chat session with Initiate there, but we've got the Sundown Fishing Club, I suppose. Let's take a look through here. Uh, he likes fishing. There's all the rules. Another person. Again, they're just... They're just... Name... I think I've got a mid track time. Ah, just because they're names and things of people but again it just it makes the world feel bigger it really does so this is the club let's go to the gallery if there's anything on there. that's the picture we saw that was uploaded in 2014 and abraham was there at that time uh da -da -da -da. he's in the background <laughs> some random fellow with more fish I do like comment by Indubio. That is uh, an alias of yeah. That is um, what, what Joseph. His name's right there for God's sake. Ah, and there's a picture of Goldfells from 2015. Uh, he's been around for some time as a temp member, but now he's made the best decision of his life and joined us. Please welcome to the club, Abraham. Welcome, Abe. I didn't ask last time. May I call you Abe? Welcome, sorry about last time, didn't have, a chat to, to, didn't have a chance to talk. I thought we were a club for men, now we just let anyone in now. Is there a problem with Abron? You bet your ass there is, we never had a... that word in the club, and I prefer it to stay that way. Bullshit, I talked to him all evening last Tuesday, he seemed perfectly normal. Why do you think this should matter? Hell yeah, Norman, Fred told me he was practically asked out by him once. Proof enough that Abraham is gay, in my opinion. This is not of relevance. This is a men's club. Isn't it blatantly obvious what he's trying to do here? And even tell us right away. Wow, that's rude. That's a real bummer. Gays don't bother me. They don't bother me either. Heck, I mean, I'm bi, so... Mm. Would you please social decency discussing a man's sexuality on a public online photo gallery? Not only is that irrelevant to begin with, it also doesn't belong here. Oh yeah, it does belong here, Joseph. Why does he keep his hush-hush? You should have just told us right from the start. Oh, this guy's a dick. Uh, we should start accepting that word. We should be forced to accept women and children too. Gosh, what an arsehole. <laughs> now I get why you're what Ah, yeah, his, his wife did divorce him. It all makes sense. Maybe you like other men a little too much. Wow. This has become far too personal. Uh, we'll hold a vote on the next gathering. Wow, okay, so his wife, he did divorce him at least. That picture is quite old. I don't think we should mess with his private life as much. It's not what we're after. You wanted information. Now, well, that's conflicting with something. Uh, is there another picture? No, there's not. So, that's the most recent picture of Goldfells that we have. We'll bob that in, because it's from 2015. Uh, so that website is done. Entry number three, an unexpected proposal. Yesterday, most in comfortable inquirer reached me out of all the possibilities. Has to offer, this is one I would have expected last. The government has requested me to work for them. The very same government bringing forth a dangerous safety bill, allowing to prosecute on suggestive evidence alone. 
I do not understand. Oh, I suppose that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, I do not understand the nature of this call. They did the research as they were completely aware of my views and my work. Why would they specifically call on me? It's got me puzzled to the utmost and I cannot seem to work out what they would need for me. Naturally, I refused the contract. Did you though? Because you got sued by them. You refused at first when they took the contracts after all, only to then breach it. How odd. Exactly. Uh, I have no intention to work for the government, yet I wonder what might be the root of all this. Alright, let's take a look at his bloody medical page after all this. Ah, oh, we've got an address, finally. Born 1953, so he's quite old. I request a team for investigation immediately. Somehow I doubt he's around. Continue your work, I'll notify you when the team has reported back to me. Alright, so we've got that in there. Reported increasing nagging pain in the whatever that word is region. Spent several months during the nights, combined with a feeling he described as similar to nausea. Uh, dilation at the bowed in the head of the pancreas. And a tumour approximately the size of 2.8 centimetres has been found in the head of the pancreas. He's suffering from inoperable cancer. I see. Oh. The average life expectancy is 6 to 12 months at this state of a cancer, though outliers with years to live exist. Oof. That is so harsh, but this does mean the man has nothing to lose. Um, uh, uh, date recorded February 10th, 2015. I mean, we got that email from him to uh, Nina yesterday, didn't we? Uh, well, yesterday in game, it was last week for you. So he emailed Nina, so we know he's still around in some capacity. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so let's take a look at this chat with Inishian and Harrison, finally. <laughs> like I said, the game just waits until you're ready to do it. It doesn't do it in real time. I kind of wish it would, but that would be a bit too much pressure. Hello, wise ass. Anyone there? Ah, so you found your way here, Harrison. Yeah, we did give he did give him his chat handle. Digging through your timeline was a pain in the ass. Why didn't you just tell me you wanted to chat? When you told me what happened to Nina, I went straight on to the research. I got the impression that the government is up to no good. Great work, Captain Obvious. I did find something. Something you won't like one bit. Oh, uh, what did you find? Orwell. He knows about Orwell. Oh, we did everything to keep it outside of the nation until we were ready for the revelation, and now it's unfortunate people have become aware of it ahead of time. We must tread very carefully. They will not speak so openly any longer, I fear. What is it? It's a good question. Seems it's a system that can put everything on the web under surveillance. What do you mean by everything? Everything in this very convo, every call, web page, PCs, whatever. You're bullshitting me. I'm not. I'm not. I wish I was. Well, Harrison knows about it now, too. Let's assume for a sec you're right. How do they pull this off? Storage alone is one thing, but actively going through all of it? They outsource surveillance to people outside the nation. I mean, yeah, the storage must be huge. Terabytes of information. Uh, if, if, whatever, big, yotabytes, I suppose, is bigger. Because people are supposed to collect pieces of data from websites, all kinds of communication and whatnot, and send it to the Orwell mainframe. It's safe to assume that nothing is safe anymore. How come we've never heard of it? And more importantly, how come you have? I have very good connections to some hackers outside the nation. Hmm. They knew a thing of, oh, a real hacker network, huh? Unfortunately, we can't go people after people outside of the nation. Well, fair enough. If you know a thing or two about secret recruiting for this shit without letting people in the nation know, don't know how they pull that off, but they do. Let's just hand wave that away. And that also explains what happened to Nina, I guess. This is so fucking crazy. Do they have no decency? No fucking respect for... Oh dear, the typos are coming in. He's angry. This is everything we fought against. Harrison, don't. You need to watch your tongue. I do not need to fucking watch my tongue. 
please chill, man, or we will regret it. Oh, I will never again chill until this madness stops. I've already got an idea, tailor-made for you. Oh really, pourquoi? Man, if you discuss things like that here, you'll get us both locked up. Well, let's meet somewhere then. Yeah, and say the word, and they will be there too. <laughs> yeah, I suppose he's got a point. We could just upload the location. This is what we did to Nina. There must be something we can do to talk without the possibility of somebody snooping around. We can't stand around doing nothing. Well, there's one thing. It's a bit risky. Are you using my chat tool right now as well, aren't you? Well, if you wanted to live my life in a cage, i go live in a fucking zoo. The system needs to be shut down. Uh, yes, it's abominable, but yes, I am using your chat tool. This tool has a built-in cipher. Oh god, don't tell me I've got to do code, code cracking. It's a custom encryption algorithm written by me, easy to break. Oh, fair enough. But it's off the record and that's what we need. They probably can't break this, not right away. It gives us a couple of messages, possibly. What are you waiting for? Go for it. Okay, I wonder what kind of cipher it is. Okay, I'll activate it now. Just remember to write quickly. And keep your fingers crossed, this will work at all. Oh, okay, I can't pass that. It is just symbols and gibberish. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting reports of an unknown cryptography here. Or else you'll be able to break the encryption in mere seconds. Will it, though? I mean, it doesn't. If it's going to break the encryption, then what they're discussing will find out anyway, which makes it pointless. But, yeah, there's no way I can pass that. It could work. Ah, oh, now he's broken it. I will need some time to localize the entry points, and then I'll only have seconds. One thing. What will you do with what I find there? What on earth are they talking about? Start a war on the government. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know, you're talking about war and shit gives me the chills. If it's war he wants, well, he shall have one. We'll have Mr. Donald arrested before long, I can at least be certain of that. You told me you don't have any love for the Gov. You're already part of Fort, now prove it. Your chance to do something with relevance to it instead of hacking people's websites for fun. Oh, okay, fine. Time to get to work. Don't forget to send me your stuff. O'Donnell, out. Hmm. The National Beholder just put. Oh, best see for yourself. Uh. And there's an email there, so first things. First, let's look at the, uh, the news article. Oh, I've only forgot to close that. There we go. Uh, headlines. Is this the group responsible for the bombings? Oh dear. I imagine you're looking my way now, aren't you? I have absolutely no idea who leaked this info. Certainly wasn't me. Only very few people can access the data on our back end. This doesn't exactly aid us in our investigations. Quite the opposite, probably. We need to hurry. Uh, oh dear. So people are now aware about Fort publicly. Uh, and now... So you're the guys who bombed the Freedom Memorial, a hearty fuck you. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, all the comments are coming through. Uh, in the group, publicly, and... I'm guessing that's Harrison being fired, yeah. It has been brought to our attention you've actively participated in suspicious groups in the past or present. I consider it unnecessary to elaborate how this is against the work regulations and expectations of neutrality. Uh, immediate termination of your work contracts, the national opinion column, and any other articles and text. But yeah, I mean, fair enough. Side effect of a leak, probably. I wonder what else got out of a TNB, and most of all, who did this? Was that Joseph? Because he did say he was going to give information on Fort to it. No, 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 because he said he was going to give that information to Symes, didn't he? Because Symes was the one who emailed him from an unknown email. So, no, that wouldn't have been Joseph. I mean, we knew he was anti-government anyway, it was only a matter of time before that happened. And people are still commenting on this page in real time. <laughs> well, real time in game, at least. Which is, you hide your articles, why? Gosh, it's all coming through. Is there anything else we can look at on the listener page? 
Uh, da -da -da. We missed something in the chat here. Oh yeah, it was just that uh, Harrison is aware of Orwell, I suppose. We should pop that in. Because it's important that he knows about it. Well, it's important everyone knows about it, really, isn't it? But come on, because it's immoral as fuck. But it's important to our purposes, because we're playing the bad guy here. I don't know if I've stressed that enough. We're playing the bad guy. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, wow, that is graphic. Um, is there anything else on any of the other comment pages? No, he's not gone through on some of the other comments, at least. Uh, I'm, I, there's something I'm missing somewhere. One of these articles I can click on. I just, I'm just going to... Yeah, that one's forbidden. Uh, we've looked at that one already. We've looked at that one already. That one we can't access. We've looked at that one. We've looked at the minefields. And, yeah, okay, so there's nothing new on that page. It was just thinking, because we hadn't clicked through the links directly. Heavy rainstorm ravages Bonson and Farview. Yeah, that was the rainstorm that was on. they were talking about yesterday, um, when Nina was being arrested. So, is there anything else in the gallery it wants us to look at? Yeah, it was the conflict about Abe being a homosexual. I'm not going to bob that in. Ah, this page has been restored now, that's fair enough. What else am I missing? Is there anything on the family page? Because it still wants me to click things here. No. Right, so I am missing something. Oh, is there someone on Initiate's timeline? Well, we've got a date of birth of him, at least. So, Bob... Oh, I've just realised it says 1912. <laughs> I'm going to... Simon's going to react to that, I think. I'm going to bob that in because it's funny. <laughs> kind of old for a hacker. Perhaps he's a little green alien living on a swamp planet. Possibly. Possibly. See what you did there? I did. <laughs> Wait. That means Star Wars exists in this universe. That's interesting that they've made that canon. <laughs> I like the giraffes with hats, I really do, that's funny. Right, so... Ah, right, this article about uh, Joseph... Oh, it's just another picture, okay. Uh, headlines is because I didn't click on that one. Hmm... There. Must be something on his de in his um Yeah, it, it must be this, which we need to do next. His um donations, I suppose. That's that's our next thing we've got to bob in. Where where is he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Yeah, um as I was talking about, we got distracted on a massive sidetrack there, didn't we? Good lord. So coming back to this, the donation to a friend. Uh, which is conflicting with the charity donation. Um, we don't know how recent this is, but the charity donation certificate, he could have cancelled that several years ago, it's just on his thing. It's just a certificate he owns, he could have terminated that, and uh, this is dated from 2017, and the mail office um, from, uh, if I go to personal email, from Goldfells is dated a, from two year, a year ago, Dated from a year ago, asking about ongoing financial support for Nina. Uh, and we go to what's the one which is conflicted. This is dated from two days ago, and the recurring donation, and she's talking about it being for a friend. I feel like that's the true thing, and we've got to bob that in, unfortunately. This is it. It's enough indication to Joseph Langley that he might just be part of his terrorist plot, even investigative custody at least. Enough for that. Fair and intervention team, his office should be easy to locate. Might take some time for him to arrive, though. Mm, okay. Oh, 
something popped off on the listener. That's what we needed to do to get that to activate. Yeah, fair enough. We went around the houses a little bit looking for something, didn't we? Whoops a daisy. Hey, hey. Oh, hi. Seems to go have just fired the first shots our way. Yeah. Seems so. Come on, type faster, love. I thought they might take longer to trace it all back to forts. I didn't expect that the TNB would openly write about it, though. They fired me. They did so quickly. Wow, they must have loved you. <laughs> now, there's another thing. Cass has been arrested. Her lawyer told me. What? Oh, fuck. Just as I thought it couldn't get any worse. Yep. But it was about new evidence in the officer inquiry, not the bombings. Looks like some ugliness is heading our way from all sides all at once. Think the police will follow this lead too? Of course. It's just a matter of time. Harrison. I'm scared. Yeah. Don't be. Did your hacker say something? Oh, that. Yes, go on. This guy's crazy. Completely nuts. I don't know why I ever thought of asking him. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, damn. What about this lawyer you talk to? Seems like we'll have use for him soon. Joseph says he's busy trying to get Cassandra out. Understandably so. A oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean... She's in a relationship. He's in a relationship with her, so, you know, priorities. What would you do if whatever her name was, was arrested, huh? What would you do if I was arrested? Yeah, yeah, I get it. No need to lecture me, Jules. Have a quick drink, doing a lot of talking. Sorry. <clears throat> but Joseph did say he might give us advice if he finds anything. Yeah, of course he will. Right after he sent us his invoice. Yeah, you're not fair. We've got to face it. We're on our own in this. Wait a sec. No? Huh? He did just text me. Give me a second. Ah, that session is in progress. We'll come back to it. We've got two chats going on at the same time. Bing, bing. Hello, Juliet. Oh, hi again. Real-time messaging, in inverted commas. I just had a look at the news. Yes, exactly what we feared. I like how the pictures that they have are the ones that we uploaded. I suppose that's just for our ease, but... It's looking pretty harsh, yes, but I made an interesting discovery that we need to have a word about. I need to talk to you and your colleague, uh, Harrison? Yes, I was just chatting to him. I can set up a conference call. He's eager to meet you. Is he, though? That would be great. Give me a minute. Go back to Harrison. Oh, and she's typing. There we go. Already back in. He wants to talk. I'll set up a conference call. Wait. Yes, we're waiting. Nina mentioned the cops were wiretapping her calls. Said it yourself. Why not chat? I mean, if they're wiretapping the calls, why aren't they wiretapping the messages? I mean, we might as well be doing both. I think a call is much more appropriate for legal counsel, raises less eyebrows, and chats might be logged just as easily. Yeah, she's right. We're just the average couple seeking advice, right? Couple? We need to do this. Don't speak too openly. Don't mention wiretaps. Okay? I don't like this, but... All right. Ahoy hoy. Hello. Hi. Hey, Joseph. Seems this is working. Hello, um, Harrison, I presume? Yeah, and you're the law guy. Right, the law guy. Call me Joseph. All right, Joseph. I just read about your group on the TNB. I guess this isn't exactly brightening things up for you. Yeah, you could say that. So, Jules here has a big faith in your skills. Joseph, do you care to elaborate on what you found out? Yeah, okay. So, you all know the safety bill? Yes. Yeah. All in all, it's an aggregation of paragraphs to get people behind bars much more easily and to pry on their lives, if necessary. If necessary? No, they use it as a sorry excuse for spying on people all the time. 
to intimidate them. Yes, yes, I understand. What's particularly dangerous about it for you is that individuals might be prosecuted by mere indication of threats to the nation. In specific situations, it will be more than enough to point at a word you said in rage to consider you dangerous. That's enough to hold you for some time. But what's even more problematic for you is the so-called transitivity of indication. <laughs> for what? You all form a group. An activist group. This links you with one another. Now, if there is sufficient indication that, say, Abraham created thought to commit crimes, or even acts of terrorism, well, they have grounds to arrest you all. But we didn't do anything. How is this just? This is so fucking outrageous. They'll trist and turn their so-called evidence until they get what they need. Unfortunately, that's true. You will need to be very, very careful from now on. We can do something about this, right? We need explicit evidence showing Abraham created his group to be peaceful. Prove it beyond any doubt. This is why I need to ask you about Abraham to find out his original intentions. Well, ask away. The two of us were friends for a while, but I never got the feeling he told me a lot about what was going on in his life. He was quite reclusive. Yeah, that's what he was like, except when he was around Fort. How was it formed? He found out about me by discovering my blog and said he wanted to start a debate club. I said, fine, we had a couple of lame meetings. Nothing much happened. A debate club then? That would be good. I could hardly be regarded as a terrorist cell. Yeah, but Abe was obsessed with getting his message out. Make people aware what the government was doing. Oh dear. Okay, that could be misinterpreted. It just was. What about the protests? And we know why, don't we? He wanted to get out of the contract because of his illness, but the government didn't let him. Uh, if we weren't have needed this plan for a circle mall, turned out to be a catastrophe. Juliet, at what point did you join? Uh, during my studies, I met Abraham online by chance. He motivated me to take his course. Then Jules took over with planning the other two protests. Hmm. Mr. Goldfell seems quite the charmer. Look at all the people gathered around him. Uh, okay, dokey. Uh, we'll bob that in for Juliet. Sorry, the game window just closed itself, but I think it is still recording. Our findings so far have shown that Harrison O'Donnell has been involved in the planning, but since we know that Miss Matanova planned the first protest, this finding now leaves no room for him. Did we make a mistake? Was he not involved in the planning? Ahem. So would you say Abraham intended violence and outrage? No, Abe hated violence. He wanted us to stay peaceful at all times. That is positive. So it was an individual planning this. Does someone in particular incite this? False intentions of bad planning caused this. You, Nina, me, each and every one of us is guilty of deviating from Abe's intentions in their own way. Uh, you know what you're talking about. It was Nina. She neglected Abe's wishes, not us. 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 Yeah, I got it by Sean Connery. Harrison, nobody is innocent here. Not me, not you, nobody. Ugh. I fear this isn't getting us anywhere. To make sure you won't be prosecuted as a group, I need to speak to Abraham. He's gone. We don't know where, and we don't know how to reach him. Oh, will you please excuse me for a second? Someone's very impatiently knocking on my office door. On a Sunday? What? Who visits a lawyer on a Sunday? Hmm, probably hasn't got any idea what to do. We need an excuse to get out. Let's have a little patience, at least. How long can it take for someone to go to the door, open it, tell people to shove off, and get back? Yeah, that was a few, was a few minutes there. Maybe you're right. He's not coming back. Great. So, no help from anybody. Just received report that Mr. Langley has been taken into custody. Oh dear. If he wasn't arrested, um, and we didn't upload about the um, donation to Nina, that call would have carried on, and we would have gotten a different outcome and more information about other things. So, but we deviated the path a little bit. I suggest we meet somewhere in town and come up with a good uh, plan. What about the old meeting place? You mean that place? Uh, yeah, of course. So they're meeting somewhere, but we don't know where. So we'll bob that in. So important to them, it's a shame they didn't say. But arresting either of them is out of a question at this time. Anyway, we don't have enough evidence. Well, about that. Nina neglected Abe's wishes. I mean, she was the one who is connected with all three locations, but and she was the one who seemed to be the most violent. But... Uh, Juliet and Harrison and Nia all organised things in different ways, so I think we upload that about all three of them, quite frankly. 
I'm not sure if I'm willing to believe that this is really contradictory to what Abraham Goldfels wanted. If so, why didn't he do anything about it? I mean, that's got a point. So, uh... We've still got access to his computer, it's not been switched off. Uh, topic, how to start repairing my notebook. Oh, this is the article which, um... Abraham must have found Juliet from. That's the picture from her family website. That's just been cropped. There's one of her playing guitar. <laughs> it's probably... Uh... The fact that I recognise that means I've been playing this for too long. Um, so, I got this new notebook for my studies, blah 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 blah. Can some clever IT guys, uh, gals, give me some advice? Ah, so we've got her PC code now. Well, we'll bob that in. It can upload the information from the picture. Hmm. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Very funny, ha ha. Um, she's very determined. Yeah, that doesn't seem relevant. Oh, Goldfels is posting. Uh, ah, the message where she said, like, can you join, do you want to join the course? Fair enough. Right, so let's take a look at Juliet's computer. With her very generic Windows backdrop. Uh, greetings from Coca Copacabana. Oh, what the fuck? Orwell has lost connection to the main server. Oh, I forgot about this. Hello? It's all gone dark. Um, I can't do anything else. Oh, connection to the main server has been re-established. Oh, this <laughs> is working. You receive message. Ah, there we go. I just have a strange kind of connection problem. It was like the mainframe had vanished. Uh, it's still a little bit glitchy. Still got some data loss between the servers and here. It seems all is slowly going back to normal again. We had a joker who thought they could intrude our database. Infosec says they averted the attack. Huh. So that must be what Initiate and Harrison were talking about. They wanted him to hack Orwell because he knew about it. Right, so let's try again. Uh, her browser history could be interesting. Uh, Uni folder, essay drafts. God, I've got so many of those saved in old pen drives. Um, came to the nation from Grieblingen, tiny village near Stuttgart in Germany, where I still have family. Okay, yeah, we knew he was German. Uh, there's been a related document found by that. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, let's keep looking through her Rosen folder. Oh, Juliet just started in March, so she's not been there for very long. Oh. She's only been there for a couple of months at this point. Fair enough. Uh, get some specifics on the internal codename project Demiurge she was asking about. Huh. Whatever that is. I feel like I've heard that name before, and I don't mean from Greek mythology. I'm not sure what that is from Greek mythos, I can't quite remember. If you know, put it in the comment section. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, let's take a look at her browser history. Again, it's a weird thing to say, but what's in here? Oh god, there's so many to go through. Uh, National Beholder headlines, she's been reading the news. Uh, Looking at the Fort blog. Oops, shit, gone too far. Um, university homepage. Her timeline. Looking at the album page for uh, the band. Um, what else is there? Harrison's timeline. Headlines again. University. The, the contact page for Joseph's law office. Fair enough. I don't think there is much else in there. What is there? It seems to think. Oh no, that's it, right, we got it. So that uploaded some missing persons. Missing since September 1993. Gunther Ahrens.
the year he emigrated was reported missing. What did he do? He's been missing for several years now. One day he did not return from work. Colleagues and friends claim they have not seen him, nor have any clues where he might have gone. Not lost confidence you are still out there. You'd never abandon us. Wife and daughter. So he isn't gay, which it doesn't matter if he was anyway, but... Did he leave his family behind? And his real name... Gunther Ahrens. How could I possibly miss this? I'm such an idiot! It's legitimate to change your name when immigrating, yet very few people do. That's what Mr. Goldfell Ahrens must have done. Oh, shit. Um, I will look at that in a second. This just, just popped off. Attacking Orwell worked, but not for long. And not again. Not this way. Got a gift for you. Take a look on your Fort web server. Handle with care. Right, so it was Initiate who hacked Orwell. Hmm. We suspected as much. But... Uh, was behind the breakdown. Shouldn't know why it was so pathetic. But the main thing which we've just seen in the obituaries is Goldfells is dead. He died over a year ago, and he's been dead the entire time. You're telling me... You're telling me we've been chasing a dead man all this time? Again, I got chills down my spine because I'm just so hooked in the story. This... Uh, this is downright impossible. I mean, he wrote an email to Nina yesterday, didn't he? Well, somebody did. I'm beginning to hate the fact that we can only look at points of data without knowing the full story. The truth is out there, I just don't see... Damn it! Screw all of this. Screw Orwell. I need to think, look at the facts again, just watch for a while, let me know if anything new happens, okay? Well... <sighs> so, the report from the team at Abraham's address just came in. It was completely abandoned. No furniture, nothing. Which is no longer a surprise, I guess. Hmm. So, there was something on the Fort blog... Oh, what else just popped off? What happened there? Ah, entry 10, the Orwell Project. With all the new people on our site, proper introductions are in order. Hello there. Where did all these people come from? Might it due to be the fact that the fucking biggest newspaper in the goddamn nation just published an article on us? Didn't think we still had an audience that large. The irony is not lost on me. We tried and tried and tried to get our message through, but whatever we did, it wasn't enough to get your attention. And now you show up on our doorstep, uninvited, yet still wanting attention. Welcome and bienvenue, privet, welcome. Now that you are here, let's have a small chat, shall we? I've got someone here who's desperately eager to meet you all. Does he look familiar, everybody? This is my good friend, Benjamin Costigan. Benjamin, meet the world. On first sight, Benjamin seems like a fine man, doesn't he? He's 32, so in his best years, lives in a cosy house, even has a pregnant fiancé named Amy. Never would you guess what a terrible secret he hides. So Benjamin here is a government agent in a project they apparently call Orwell. Never heard of it? No surprise, I hadn't either. They don't want us to know. At least, not yet. Orwell makes it mind numbingly easy to spy on all of you, just with a few mouse clicks. Ordinary people recruited from anywhere in the world make those mouse clicks seem as if it were all just a game. Ha ha, fourth wall break. Then there is Benjamin. He's the guy who receives your data, has an elaborate look at it and says, this one. This is the one we'll put in jail. This is the one's life we're gonna fuck up. That's one hell of a job, isn't it? Now you might ask, where did this Hancock fella get this info? The answer is, from the Orwell project itself, because uh, the thing isn't even secure. Nope, I don't expect you to believe me, just like that. I'd like to propose something better. Go and ask Benjamin. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that you don't know him. Here's his address. 
I would kind if you would kindly visit him and send my best regards, that would be must appreciated. Well, we can't proceed until we upload the fact that he knows Benjamin, Symes' real name. I am not friends with... Where did that come from? I'll grant you to add more if there is any. I want to know. I need to know. This is dangerous, us doing this, because that's automatically made you a target person. Uh, and Orwell has to act on the information which it is given. So I've got no choice in doing this, because I've got to act up on it. Uh, and there's his address, which I also have to upload. Uh, it, it knows about you. No, 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 no. As a pregnant fiance, again, yeah, it, it's acting up on the information. How is this possible? This cannot be happening. I need to go home now. And Symes has logged off for the rest of the day. That is our big twist, it seems, the reveal of the Orwell Project to the public masses. And even a picture of him. Oh dear. Well, that is a sudden bombshell and re re revelation for the end of the day, right at the end of this episode. Oh dear, oh dear. Not much else we can do, though. But we learned Goldfells is dead. So, let's go through all the information. We need to locate Abraham Goldfells. We had indication to believe that Abraham Goldfells incited the bombings. We need to locate him. Uh, National Beholder published an article. Thought was received by the article. Uh, but uh, with hate after the article was published. There was an attack on the Orwell mainframe. Gunther Adams, the real name of Abraham Goldfells. He was friends with Joseph Langley, was sued by the government, was suffering from terminal cancer, was obsessed with anti-government messages, was reported missing in 1993, was married, left his family behind, changed his name to Abraham Goldfells, and he died last year, probably due to the cancer, and we searched his house, remote area of Farview, and was completely abandoned. Joseph Langley handled a famous case against the government in the past, received a request to submit information on Gunther Adams, he proposed to submit information on Fort instead, was in financial difficulties, was friends with Goldfells, uh, found indication he might have funded Nina Matanova, um, therefore an arrest has been made, initiate was anti-governmental, is a member of Fort we didn't know about, he was at Rosentech where Juliet works. He's aware of Orwell and attacked and hacked the mainframe. Juliet spent all weekends in the office. She took Gunther Adams' course after they got to know each other. She blames the deviation of Fultz's course on Harrison, Nina and herself. Requested info on the project's Demiurge. We don't know what that is. Harrison O'Donnell stated his intention to declare war on the government, lost his job, is also aware of Orwell, and he was the one who exposed personal information on Symes. His identity was compromised. Personal information was exposed. Now, if you have read 1984, like I have, you may have seen this twist coming, because we know what happens to Symes in the book. Symes is a character in the story of the original the original story like i said this takes a lot of inspiration from the original novel by george orwell and this game is full of references symes's character name being one of them so i think we know what happened to him and why this episode is called the memory hole or at least this chapter thank you very much for watching today leave your thoughts in the comment section down below what is it you think we're going to be doing next now because well goldfells is dead he's been dead since at least last year so what possibly could be going on what is project demiurge and who is the mysterious hacker initiate 
Leave your thoughts and feelings in the comment section down below. See if you can untangle this web and mystery as we delve deeper into the next chapter, which is the conclusion and final chapter of Orwell keeping an eye on you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe for the finale of this, which we'll be posting next week, all being well. I'm not going to make you wait like the original developers did when posting the final chapter, don't you worry. And hopefully, I'll see you there. Take care, stay safe, and try for now. Goodbye.